Giga Texas is up and running, and if reports coming out of Tesla's latest Giga factory are to be believed, it will be changing the vehicle manufacturing game entirely. Recent footage shows that Tesla is ramping up production, and with the ambitious plans for new Tesla vehicles and new technologies like the 9,000 ton Giga Press, Texas could be Tesla's newest launch pad. Elon Musk has previously expressed his goal of shifting 20% of Texas vehicles to Tesla. So far, that goal remains elusive, and the numbers are on the lower side. As of mid-2022, Texas has 123,000 electric vehicles on the road. Tesla already has a massive superiority in that race, as 70% of Texas EVs are Teslas. However, Elon Musk is eyeing a much bigger market, and his actual goal is to disrupt the vehicle industry as a whole. Electric vehicles make less than 1% of Texas vehicles so far, which means that getting to 20% will be a massive task. This is why scalability matters. Tesla needs to produce millions of vehicles at a fast pace to truly challenge traditional cars. This transition will require a lot of commitment, a lot of technology, and a lot of investment. Fortunately, Tesla doesn't lag on any of these fronts and is taking the challenge head on. So, the goal of getting millions of Teslas on Texas roads might be closer than you think after the opening of Giga Texas. How will the latest Giga Factory make it all possible? What's the latest exciting news coming out of Texas? And what will the future look like? Let's find out. As you remember, Tesla shifted its corporate headquarters from California to Texas towards the back end of 2021. There were multiple reasons for the move. Some reports suggest that it was due to California's strict COVID-related restrictions that were causing bottlenecks for the company. Elon Musk wasn't happy with the state's rules and ended up moving to Texas. However, I believe that a major contributing factor was the cost of doing business in California and Texas. California has the highest personal income tax of more than 13% and is the highest in the United States. Similarly, the top corporate tax rate in California is 8.84%, compared to only 2.7% in Texas. That may have been a huge motivation for Musk, who is set to save around $2.5 billion in capital gains tax by moving his business from California to Texas. In addition to the standard business benefits, Texas authorities also offer Tesla $65 million in tax breaks and other incentives to build Giga Texas. Elon Musk also acknowledged the advantages of moving to Texas on the hiring front. Getting employees is much cheaper and easier in Texas. The move happened last year, and commentators are already calling Texas the new China for Tesla. Despite the usual difficulties for Western manufacturers in China, they went out of their way to accommodate Tesla. Shanghai has imposed a 15% tax rate on Tesla to do business, which is far less than China's typical rate of 25%. As of today, almost half of Tesla's production and a quarter of the company's sales happen through the Shanghai Gigafactory. This brings me to Giga Texas. Tesla invested more than a billion dollars on the site, used more steel to build it than the Empire State Building, and dubbed it the biggest building in the world. But the factory's start wasn't as encouraging as expected. The reason? Elon Musk's proverbial production hell. He wants to make bigger battery cells, mega packs, solar walls, semis, cyber trucks, and much more. But sourcing everything in the wake of a pandemic and a war has not been easy. This is why Elon branded his Berlin and Texas factories as money furnaces not so long ago. But that is about to change. According to drone footage by a popular YouTuber, Joe Tegmeyer, Tesla has ramped up Giga Texas production to about 150 Model Y electric SUVs a day. In the footage, we can see Tesla bringing out more than 300 Model Ys for delivery in the parking lot. According to Techmeyer's estimates, Tesla can now produce almost 1,000 vehicles every week in Giga Texas. This may not seem like a big number, but remember that Giga Texas only started production in April. It's the biggest Tesla factory by size and has the potential to reach insane production numbers. 
This just marks the start of everything. The factory is only currently manufacturing the Model Y crossover, but with time, we'll see much more. Giga Texas will produce the Cybertruck, the Tesla Semi, and other Tesla passenger car models. During his remarks at Tesla's quarter one earnings call, Musk gave his two cents on the situation. Now, with new factories, the initial ramp always looks small, but it grows exponentially, so I have very high confidence in the teams of both factories. And we expect to ramp those initially slowly, but like I said, growing exponentially with them achieving high volume by the end of this year. According to Tesla's original plan, the annual production capacity of the Texas factory will exceed 1 million vehicles. They will produce more cars than anywhere else in the world and have pledged to manufacture a car every 45 seconds. To turn these plans into reality, Tesla is going to need a lot of production space. As I mentioned before, Giga Texas is already the biggest Tesla factory in the world. Its footprint is equal to 15 city blocks and the floor space is even bigger, but they're not stopping at that. In fact, Tesla has already filed the documentation to expand the production area by another 68 acres. This shows that Tesla is committed to making Texas its permanent base and the most colossal vehicle factory yet. A million vehicles at Giga Texas will add to the already growing production numbers at the Shanghai Giga Factory. Fremont and the new Berlin plant will add more and give Tesla the ability to manufacture about 2 million vehicles annually as early as 2024. Even with the production hell, the delivery issues and delays, Tesla has already doubled down on its commitment to increase production by 50% each year. They produced over 900,000 vehicles in 2021, and that was without the Berlin and Texas Gigafactories. So we can safely predict that the 2 million figure isn't too far from reality. The Gigapress now that we have crunched the numbers, the next challenge for Tesla is how to make that expansion possible. The main ingredient of this expansion is going to be new tech. As we have seen in the past, Tesla stays ahead of the competition in that respect. Tesla's biggest weapon is going to be their newest Gigapress from Italy's Hydra Group. Tesla has already been using a smaller 6,000-ton Gigapress to make the Model Y rear end with great success. Now, the Hydra Group has made an even bigger 9,000-ton casting machine, which according to Elon Musk will be used to make the Cybertruck body in one piece. Giga Texas currently owns three smaller Gigapress machines that are currently in use for the Model Y production. As things stand, Tesla will not start manufacturing the Cybertruck before 2023, and products like Tesla Semi and the Optimus humanoid robot won't go into production until early next year. So, it'll be interesting how Tesla makes up production numbers this year. Tesla's Advantage According to Elon Musk, Tesla has the potential for a record-breaking second half of the year. We have seen them ramping up production at the Giga Texas and expansions are already in motion. Looks like Tesla is ready to make hay of their billion-dollar investment, especially when we compare this with their competition. We know that Tesla already has the most significant edge over its rivals. This is the demand for electric vehicles. A transition to EVs is happening quicker than we think, and all big car makers are scrambling to get a piece of that market. But it's clear that they will not be catching Tesla anytime soon. But the bigger concern for the traditional companies is going to be the already dwindling car sales compared to Tesla. In the first quarter of 2022, Tesla sold more cars than the so-called premium brands in the US. Tesla sold more vehicles than BMW, Mercedes-Benz, and Lexus. But that's not just in the EV space, but the vehicle industry as a whole. So this includes all models of these brands. During the first quarter of the year, Tesla sold 113,882 cars, surpassing BMW by a margin of more than 33,000 units. Lexus and Mercedes-Benz, which have historically been two of the most popular brands in the country, are even further behind, with close to 67 and 60,000 units sold in their first quarter. In fact, Tesla was the only major brand with increased sales where Tesla sales went up by 59%, BMW, Lexus, and Mercedes all went down by as much as 21%. So, Tesla does not have a shortage of demand. 
Their problem has always been production. With Giga Texas up and running and the new GigaPress ready to work wonders, the game seems to be changed. Tesla dominating everything is now more of a when question rather than an if.